Moin! Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie and many of you know that I currently live close to Frankfurt. We moved here a bit more than a year ago from Hamburg and the longer we stayed, the more differences I noticed. Definitely enough to say that Germany isn't just Germany. Various parts have their very own flair and personality and it's possible that you only feel completely home in a certain area. To me, even though I'm happy where I am, home will always be the north of Germany. Either Hamburg or even further up in Schleswig-Holstein. Just recently we happened to travel to Hamburg again, hung out with our best friends, we had a great time and let me just say, saying goodbye was difficult. Which made me wonder, what is it that is so different about the North? Apart from being with our best friends, but more generally speaking, what do I miss the most living in the lower half of Germany? And I realized that it's not one particular thing. It's a sum of many aspects that I used to enjoy. Aspects that I want to share with you today in this video. Especially to foreigners, it may be interesting to hear how a German perceives the difference between the North and, for example, the area around Frankfurt. Moving to Germany is a huge step, and depending on where you move to, you might end up having a completely different experience. So here is what I, living in the center, or some may even say south of Germany, miss about the North. First up, Hamburg, Schleswig-Holstein or Mecklenburg-Vorpommern are all close to the sea. From the center of Hamburg, both the Nordsee and the Ostsee are less than a hundred kilometers away. Well, the only water close to Frankfurt would be the rivers Main or Rhein. So if you like the sea, the north of Germany is probably a good choice. But if you're more into white fields and meadows and mountains, then coming to Frankfurt or even further south to Baden-Württemberg or Bayern might be where you feel happiest. Personally, I like both mountains and the sea. But if I were to choose, it would be living close to the water. Not only because of the ocean itself, but because of the many small simple things that come along with it. For example, the wind. Even though wind sometimes gives me a bad headache, I like it that close to the sea, the air is always moving. Other than here in the southern center of Germany, in the north there's always this fresh breeze dancing around your nose, making everything feel dynamic and alive. I guess the sea is one of the reasons why the northern part of Germany is like a couple of degrees colder in average than the south, which is actually a disadvantage for me because I'm one of those girls that are almost always too cold. I tend to be eine Frostbeule, yet what I like is that the air is so cool and fresh. It tastes and smells like salt. Breathing it feels healthy to me. Then there are the seagulls in the sky, die Möwen. Although they aren't exactly my favorite animals, since they can be pretty annoying and also aggressive, I just like the noise they make. I'd say it's the background music of the North. Their Here we go again. Makes me think of going on an adventure, the mysteries of the ocean, which also terrifies me at times, and being free. Don't you think you're giving seagulls a bit too much credit here? The only thing that I connect with them is Vogelkacke everywhere. Another aspect that I love about the North is this nautical or maritime theme that you can find everywhere. Aside from the fact that you can just go and visit beautiful lighthouses and ports with plenty of boats and ships at any time in real life, you'll encounter lots of symbols connected to the sea. Seashells, starfish, anchors, life belts, ropes and fishing nets. Be it a tablecloth, a t-shirt, the sign on an ice cream shop or toilet paper. Maritime prints and symbols are everywhere. Lots of black and white and blue and red. Stores and restaurants have names like zum Seestern or Krabbenkutter, which makes you feel like a modern civilized pirate. Aye aye, Captain, ein Kartoffelrösti und ein Latte Macchiato, bitte! Of course, it's a matter of taste, whether you like these names, these themes and this style, but I definitely do and I miss it a lot. Talking about style, I think that the North has a particular architectural style as well. Many houses have brick walls, most of them red or orangey, but there are also some grey or white or yellow ones. And if you look down, 
paving blocks and cobblestone in different colors. I don't know why really, but I think that this gives even big cities this vibe of a small lovely fisher town. Of course you can find very modern looking buildings with huge glass fronts too, especially in Hamburg Hafen City. But even there, the next brick wall is just around the corner. It's a perfect mix of solid traditional and modern eccentric. Oh, and another thing I miss so much is saying Moin! Moin! That's how you greet people in the north of Germany, by saying Moin or Moin Moin. It's such a cute word and I wish we would say it here too. In general, I love the dialects that people have in the north of Germany. Hamburger Schnack, Plattdeutsch or Friesisch and everything in between. Tüdel, Rumdaden, Schnacken, Schiet, Wetter. All these words sound so funny and happy. And the rhythm of the dialect is so easygoing and adorable. Furthermore, apart from German, many people in the north speak sarcasm fluently. The humor is quite edgy and cynical, pretty self-ironic too, which might be the reason some say the fish are a bit harsh and cold, but I personally love it and I can easily identify with this kind of humor and attitude. You? Cynical, sarcastic and self-ironic? You know, I would laugh, but then you may think again that your videos are funny, so I rather don't. But from schnacken to snacken. It felt like heaven when I bit into my very first Franzbrötchen after surviving more than a year without them. Germany is known for its quality pastries, but you know nothing if you haven't tried a Franzbrötchen once. It is important though that you buy one of the good ones. A good Franzbrötchen is never too puffy, never too sticky, never too dry and never burned. It has to be flat and slightly glazed and caramel colored. And then when you take a bite, it should be crunchy on the outside. A thin coat of sugar and cinnamon. And then there is the soft and mm, buttery dough on the inside. Like this one. Just look at it. Mmm, I can still taste it when I close my eyes. So yep, many small and big things that I miss about the north. Have you ever been to Hamburg? What else do you like about it or any other place in Germany that is close to the sea? Where in Germany do you feel most happy and home and why? Tell me in the comments and let me know what you think about the aspects that I mentioned. Like, do you enjoy Franzbrötchen as much as I do? I really hope that you liked today's video. If so, please leave a thumbs up because that would mean a lot to me. Obviously, even though I went into the rhapsodies about the north of Germany, I don't mean to say that any other place is less beautiful than Hamburg. I know that many people watching this channel moved from another country to Germany, so I bet you can relate when I say that you can be happy in one place and at the same time miss another. In the end, it's a personal thing and we all have to make our own experiences. Thank you all so much for watching. You could find Don't Trust Rabbit on many other social media platforms as well and here is a video that you should definitely check out as well. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and if you want to support me even a bit more, you can also find Don't Trust the Rabbit on Patreon. I would really appreciate your help. Now I wish you all a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!